Day without DIY. These crafting hacks will help make your projects more creative. Are you out of handmade supplies but in urgent need of an embellishment? Don't worry, we'll show you how to make a cute yarn heart. Draw a heart on a foam food container. Cut it out. Wrap pink yarn around the template. Cut off the excess. Fasten the end. You can use this soft pink heart as a cute embellishment. Or attach a keychain ring to keep your keys on. We'd like to share another yarn life hack. Make a lovely keychain quickly and easily. Measure out the lime green yarn. Put on a keychain ring. Pull it up. Tie with the pink thread. Trim the ends. This eye-catching keychain will keep your keys safe and secure. Has your glue dispenser dried up? Is it impossible to collect the remains from the bottle? Make it easy and use a glue spray. Pour stationary glue into a spray bottle. Dissolve it with water in a 1 to 1 ratio. Put on a spray top. Shake the solution. The glue mixture is sprayed out in a thin layer, sufficient to attach paper elements. This practical life hack lets you use the entire glue that's left over and keep your hands clean. Another spray idea is DIY spray paint. Squeeze acrylic paint into an empty spray bottle. Put in the same quantity of water. Shake the bottle to mix the water with the paint. The sprayed paint creates a wonderful pattern. You can use this hack to make scrapbook paper. We've used it to decorate clothes. What to do with the excess paint? Transfer it into an empty medicine bottle. Have you got a lot of mixed paint left over? It's impractical to wash away such good stuff. Collect the paint with a flat brush and transfer it into an empty container. A used medicine bottle will do perfectly well. Cover it with the top. Apply a little paint on the top to know which color is inside. This hack will help you keep the paint until your next art class. Just look at the top to know which color you already have. Do you need to spray paint a little detail? Put it in a box. To avoid painting all around, put the detail into an empty box. Spray paint it all over until you are satisfied with the result. It's a great idea for a spray paint job both inside and outdoors. In case you do it inside, be sure to air your room. You'll probably agree any gift should be promptly wrapped as it's the first thing the recipient sees when you present it. We'll share a few smart hacks of making a nice bow. You'll need a cardstock circle. Take four wooden skewers at the same intervals. Pass a wide satin ribbon over and under the skewers. Three rows will be enough. Fasten the ends with decorative clothespins. Cut off the excess. Wrap a golden braid around the center. Pull up the ribbon. Make several wraps and tie a knot. Cut off the excess. Take off the pins. Remove the ribbon off the skewers. The stunning bow can decorate your hairstyle or embellish your gift wrapping. If you need a small bow, use a fork. Pass a thin ribbon through the fork tines from the root to the point. 
Wind the braid around the middle, pulling up. Tie a knot and take it off the fork. Quickly and easily, there's a cute little bow ready to embellish anything you want. The hot glue gun trick will make your job much easier. Apply a strip of hot glue to the ribbon back and attach the end. Cut off the excess. Hot glue the other end. Wind a thin ribbon around the middle. Make a smaller bow. Hot glue the two elements together, the bigger one on top of the smaller one. Wrap around the center with a wide ribbon. You can leave the fabulous bow as it is or add an extra embellishment. Wind a thin ribbon around a pencil and keep it there for some time. Then take it carefully off the pencil. Fold in half and attach to the bow. And voila! Make little bows from glued thin ribbons. Attach them crisscross. Wind the ribbon around the center. Add a couple of strips to the back and use it to decorate your hairstyle or outfit. And now, a smart hack to flatten and smooth crumpled ribbons or fabric strips without ironing. We'll use a hair straightener. Flat iron the ribbon as if it were your hair. Perfect! The ribbons are flat and smooth. To keep the ribbon from fraying, snip off the end first. Then, use a lighter to heat seal the edge. Now, the edge will always be neat. Do you love pastel drawing? Dry pastel shades will smudge over the paper and hands. There's a little trick to solve this problem. Spray a drawing with hairspray. The thin lacquer film will protect the drawing from smudging. Now, if you touch it, your hand will keep clean. Your favorite ballpoint pen stopped writing, didn't it? Don't have a spare one at hand? Remove the refill. Still doesn't write? Move the refill above the flame. It will write again. The pen will work more. Just be careful to notice when it's out of ink. Does the eraser disappear as often as you use a pencil? Use a pen grip. It erases perfectly. Are your scissors dull when you need them urgently? Here is a way out. You need ordinary foil. Cut it with scissors again and again. Test the result. The scissors cut the fabric perfectly. It took just a few minutes to sharpen the tool. Do you feel like making something special? Then make a card with a hidden message. Take a permanent marker and write a note. Cover it with a coat of wax using a white wax crayon. Paint a heart over the note using nail polish. Add flowers or some other ornament outside. Embellish the heart. Add green leaves. Wait until dry. Now you can reveal the secret. Just rub the heart with a coin and the hidden message will appear. It's a great and unusual way to confess your love to someone. It's better to seal the card, so you'll need a decorative envelope. You can buy one, but it's better to use a DIY one. Just look, it's easy! We'll need patterned paper. Turn it over. Draw a large heart. Cut it out. Fold up the sides. And the bottom. Fold the flap. Glue the envelope to finish up. Use white glue. It's super quick and easy, and you don't need to rush to the store.
Do you need a little pom-pom? No problem, it'll be ready in a flash. Take a fork and knitting yarn. Wrap the yarn around the prongs. Cut off the excess. Pass the yarn through the central prong. Pull up and tie a knot around the wrapped yarn. Remove it from the fork. Cut it off. It's a quick and easy way to make a fluffy little pom-pom. And another one. If you need to make a number of pom-poms at a time, use another technique. We'll need yarn of your favorite colors. Take a basket and clothespins. Fasten the yarn and wrap it around the pins. Tie up the yarns in several places and take off the pins. Tie again on the sides. Cut it between the knots. Trim the pom-poms. And fan a bit. You can quickly make a lot of pom-poms in this way. Subscribe to Troom Troom and create beauty together with us in a simple and fast way. Give your thumbs up and ring the bell. You'll get a notice when a new video is being loaded.